it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am up on the Cut to You blog today, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about this cut file. So this is one of the new March releases. It is called um, the Geometric Pinwheel, and it is so fun. Like, I have so many ideas for this. Um, so what I did was I took two pieces of pattern paper, and I made the cut file about three inches. Um, and then I cut three of each out on um, each pattern paper. And then I, in my Cricut Design Studio, I took all the contours out. So it's basically just backs the, the cut file. And I put them opposite together. And then... I thought about gluing them together, but I thought it would be super fun to put a little brad in between to hold them together, but not to put them together. So it looks more like, remember those pinwheels that used to blow on? And let's be honest, I kind of did want to hold this and blow on this pinwheel and see if I can get it to spin because it's so fun. So I put those down. I have this super cute photo of my grand niece and I backed it with a tissue paper to make it a little softer and then a floral on top of on behind that. I'm using a studio calico blue with uh, white scallops. Now the scallops were supposed to be on top, which I thought was weird. So I turned the paper over. And then I am going to put all of the pinwheels on the left-hand side of the layout and uh, put my photo and embellishing on the right-hand side. So I have a little kind of kit made for her that has just a bunch of like girly baby themed things. So I pulled out a few of those. I'm going to use this little one, which is from the Little Adventure from... Uh, Pink Paisley or Paige Evans, Pink Paisley, I think, uh, kit. So there's a boy and a girl one or a pink and a blue one, however you want to look at it. So I go ahead and put that down as my title. I'm going to do a little embellishment at the bottom with a floral and a little globe and a little stuffed animal. And then at the top, I'm going to do a little cluster with a floral die cut as well as a tag. Now the tag had something on the bottom that I was definitely not going to use so I was good with hiding the rest of that tag. And then I thought that I would actually do a little bit of embellishing through the pinwheels. So I decided to add a couple of these uh, hot air balloons and some of the chipboard stars in those pink colors. And then also from this paper studio thicker pack, there's a cute little rainbow. So I'm going to get that on there as well. So once I have that kind of decided, I will go off screen and punch my holes in my paper so that my brads can actually fit. Oh, I'm looking for the sticker sheet that goes with this collection. I found it when I was putting everything away, but I didn't, I didn't add anything from it anyway. So I will go off screen. I will poke my brads right through. I do put some washi tape on the back side of my uh, brad so it doesn't hurt anything. And then I just decided it needed a little extra sparkle. So that top hot air balloon has kind of a coppery... Uh, glittery bit on it. <laughs> so I grabbed these sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. They're called Summer Sunset and they have kind of this coppery uh, colored sequin in it. And so I decided I'm going to put a few in both clusters around my photo as well as scatter them throughout um, my pen wheels. So I just used a little dollop of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and my Crystal Katana to pick it up and set it down. And 
yeah, that is going to do it for this layout. I love it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, definitely head over to the shop and get your hands on the March releases, especially this pinwheel because it's super, super fun. I want to do a huge pinwheel like that's like my next, my next plan. Also head over to the Facebook group. You can see what everybody is making and check out the blog for some close up pictures as well. Um, as Instagram. So I have a couple of close ups here for you. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you. So that is going to do it for me for the month of March. I will see you back in April. Not that I don't use cut files all the time, but remember to wear your crown. Bye.